So now what we're going to do is take apart the clarinet and put it back into the case so that you can use it as a later, at a later time. So the first thing you want to do is to unscrew the ligature, kind of like you screwed on, screwed it on when you were putting the clarinet together. Make sure you hold on to the bottom of the reed so that when you take it off, the reed doesn't fall off. So then you're going to put this back into your case. And what you're going to do with the reed is you're going to save it because you can reuse your reeds. I put mine in a case, but yours probably came in something that looked like this. So I would take the reed and I would just go ahead and put it back in here. Don't push it all the way up because you don't want to get it stuck. You want to be able to pull out the reed at another time. So make sure that you don't push it all the way up. Okay, so now we're going to clean. So you're going to take off the mouthpiece. You're going to go just like twist and pull. And you don't want to run the cleaner. Where did it go? Oh, you don't want to like put this through. You don't want to do that. Since what you're probably just going to end up doing is cleaning it with your hand. So you kind of just like, you know, clean it, make sure you can get to where your spit and condensation was getting to. And yeah, so kind of just clean it like this, like this. Yeah, and that's how you clean the mouthpiece. So for the next part is the barrel. And you're just gonna go ahead and whoop, pop it off. And then now you can do the whole, this metal part, it's supposed to be heavy so that when you drop it through the piece, you can go ahead and pull it back out. And you're just gonna go ahead and pull the cloth through the barrel. And that should clean out the spit that was in there. You want to make sure to clean your clarinet after every use, especially since the ones that you guys have are wood because wood gets moldy if you leave water, like condensation in there. So make sure you clean your clarinet every time you use it. Now you're gonna take the top part, just, you don't have to hold the D key on this one, you can just pop it off. And just like the barrel, you're gonna take this metal part, you're gonna put it through the top, and you're just gonna keep dropping it until the metal piece comes out again, and then you're gonna pull it. And then you're just gonna, ta-da. Make sure that you got all the spit out, or the condensation. If you still see stuff, like make sure you check. If you still see stuff in there, then I would go in with it a second time. But if you don't, then you can just go ahead and put it away. So next is the bottom. You don't have to clean. I mean, you can, but you don't really have to clean the bell because condensation doesn't build up there. So it should be okay. And you are just going to, uh oh, oh, there it goes going to do the exact same thing you've been doing with all of the other ones. Boom! You're done. That's how you clean your clarinet. So yeah. Um, also, tip. I would recommend make sure you don't drink any sweets. You don't eat anything. And if you do eat something before you play your clarinet, Make sure that you like swish it out with water. You don't want to get any food, any sugar, or anything stuck in there. So I recommend that before you play your clarinet that you rinse your mouth out with water, you brush your teeth if you're at home, or you just drink some water to make sure that nothing can build up inside of the clarinet. So yeah, that is how you clean your clarinet, disbody it, and put it away for another use.